Here in the Middle East, Israel's military is boosting forces in the West Bank as efforts continue to locate the gunmen who opened fire on a passing car at Israeli teenagers standing at a major intersection. Three religious students were wounded in the drive-by shooting on Sunday. One of them, shot in the head, remains in critical condition. Several Palestinian groups, including Hamas and the Islamic Jihad, issuing statements welcoming what they call the heroic shooting attack. So for the latest update, we now cross live to our Middle East correspondent, Emily Rose. She's at the Tapuach Junction in the West Bank. And Emily, of course, that search is still underway for the attacker or attackers following the shooting on Sunday evening. What is the latest you can tell us? Well, now on Arabic media circulating a video that the car was found of suspected, the suspected assailant who's still uh, on the loose, but apparently, and according to Arabic media reports, the car was located but then set ablaze by locals around it as the Israeli military tries to investigate it as evidence. So it seems as though uh, that, it, at least according to those reports, the car was located, but now it's being set ablaze and there are riots that have ensued around it. That seems to be the latest so far. And as you mentioned, three people still being treated for their wounds after this and a manhunt still uh, ongoing uh, for the suspected uh, uh, perpetrator of this, of this attack. Now, of course, the Israeli Defense Force is increasing its troop presence in the West Bank. Describe for us what you've seen on your way in. What have you seen in terms of troop deployment and police presence at the moment? Uh, it didn't look too much heavier than what we've seen around here. Normally, of course, we know that over the past few days and weeks, even security anyway has been on high alert. There were riots that broke out all throughout the week last week and in, in the beginning, in the beginning weeks of Ramadan due to clashes as well at the Temple Mount. And then all throughout this month, it's been pretty tense uh, in these areas. So uh, likely high, security was on high alert, though, as you mentioned, the Israeli military did release a statement that it deployed extra troops security being on high alert here as well, senior military commanders coming to surveil the area and uh, do a kind of recap here, uh, boosting troop de deployment on the ground. Uh, that was a statement even released yesterday. So that uh, seems to be that this area anyway was on high alert for the past few weeks and will continue to be so. Thank you so much. Bringing us the latest developments on that investigation.